Hello everybody and welcome to the Capricorn general reading for September 2016. I'm your host, I'm your host Charles or Mystic Charles or MC. Uh, you can call me just about anything you like, but anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Like I said, I've been in the military before and there were times I was never called by any of my legit names. But, I am your host, I am your host with the ghost, and she's right back there. And, uh, that is a little doll that has an entity attached to it. We have an understanding. Don't bother me, I don't bother you. So she is more than welcome to hang around. And that's about what she does right there. She's hanging around. And... Looks like the green guy's hanging around today, too, so... Anyway, let's see what's going on. Let's shuffle a little bit. And we are here again for the Capricorn General Zodiac reading for September 2016. Remember, readings are for your entertainment purposes only. That's the disclaimer. Some things can't be proven on the spot in front of everybody at that second that they want it so they say it's for your entertainment purposes only these readings but hmm, not much more comment today on that disclaimer it's just a disclaimer but hey you know sometimes in science some things don't happen exactly when i want it so why don't they say well a lot of science is for your entertainment purposes only too. Or maybe they do. I don't know. Never heard them say it. But anyway. I said I was going to talk about it. So I'm not going to talk about it. I want to see them do certain things. I, I want to see that other dimension right now. Well I can do that anyway. But um, that's it. I'm not saying no more. Right. Anyway, I'm going to look at financial, you know, I like to look at financial, I like to look at certain questions that pop in my mind if I was you there, and I could feel a lot of energies coming in asking about certain things that you like me to look at. If you want me to look at certain things, you know, the in general type that might be of interest to a lot of other people, or yourself, but uh, usually there should be some sort of energy exchange if it's for yourself energy exchange, the willingness to give to receive, you know, you can do that too. But, uh, I would be more private. I am available for private readings. You know, big thing is to when we can get together in time to do it. I'm in the central part of the USA, and if you're in the other part of the world, you know, sometimes it gets a little difficult to find time that's available to both of us lots of things going on i'm sure you got a lot of things going on but anyway cards are ready let's take a look at capricorn september 2016 in general all righty gotcha so hopefully our camera's in focus a little bit we never that problem you know i don't have somebody on the other side of the camera i don't even know what i if i'm in view probably in view but you know and we got some new equipment in here lighting and such you know but anyway uh capricorn 2016 september it's looking well first set of cards looks pretty darn good okay um showing that you might need a little extra patience here in september uh, you might come up against some, some, more than one heavy task, and that's going along with patience, so apparently, well, you're going to be able to get through these heavy tasks. Um, now I'm just feeling if it's at work or personal, it's both, so we'll just leave it at heavy tasks, all right? And remember, I don't get all metaphysical, I don't throw in, you know, the uh, sun signs and the moon signs and 
you know, this planet's out of whack with this planet and, you know, things like that. I could if you want, you know, but uh, sometimes the terminology could get a little funny. So like I say, I left the foo-foo stuff back in the 70s with the sparkle dust and the nail polish and the ponytails and goatees, you know, and the black robes. So, uh, I tell you like I see it, okay? Uh, just straight to the point, you know, uh, it's up to you on whether or not you take the information or not. You know, I'm neutral, you know. So, um... Capricorn, I see that you might be taking a trip, and that is actually pretty good. Uh, not not everything I say is going to pertain to everybody, as I say, but um, when I do say it, apparently there's a lot, a big group of you who it relates to. Right now, we're, we're looking worldwide, you know, so we got a pretty big audience. So, anyway, let's get through this set of cards. Um, I see a trip coming up in your near future in September. That will be your near future. I know I'm actually doing a reading here in August, but uh, we can see it coming up. Um, I do get water, but I don't think it's a water trip. You know, I don't think you're taking a ship somewhere. I mean, some of you will probably be taking a ship, but a lot of this looks like land travel, and it's not very local. So it looks like you're going to be going out of town, and a lot of you, it looks like you're going to be going um, on this trip with your family, and that's good. It looks like, see, here in the Northern Hemisphere, September, we're getting closer to the end of summer. It looks like a lot of you haven't been able to do anything with your family, you know, anything much over the summer. So this is really feeling like you're going to be able to maybe get away for a few days with your family, do something enjoyable, uh, spend some time with your lover, your sweetheart, we could, that's what we got here. So, you know, it looks like it's a good time, September. And if you're seeing this reading really fast after I post it, um, naturally it's stronger for you. And if money's an issue or, you know, trying to make the arrangements to take the time off, well, this gives you a little time, a couple weeks, a few weeks, um, to get it in order. Um, you might want to think about doing your time off, you know, if you're at work, you know, uh, mid-September or not the first week. The first week, I, uh, I don't know if it's your, in, in, you know, your, your best choice, but if you already got that time off coming, uh, well, make sure you spend it with family and enjoy yourself you know uh, there's a lot of hunters out there i don't know when hunting season's going on but uh uh remember the ones at home you know if you've been working a lot well uh taking off hunting isn't always your best choice because someone at home could get upset that you chose hunting over um family activities so you know, if you, if you get enough time, week or so, you know, maybe just a, you know, do half and half or something like that. Because, you know, any time, extra time in September looks good for the family unit and with your lovers as we got it there. Okay. And, 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 um, I do get some finance here showing that some financial situation from the past is coming back. Do you know what that means? You gotta be part detective, you know, uh, receiving a reading. Uh, some sort of financial situation from the past is gonna catch up to you. Maybe you owed something and you're gonna see a little bit of extra. You, you know what it's falling in? It's, it's falling into, you know, to me, it, it's not a hard financial thing. You know, I'm not seeing dollar amounts of high or low or anything like that. It's just showing as financial. But like a long time ago, I invested in a little company, someone else's little company, and um, they didn't do so well. So um, some other people that invested took the people to court and there was a little bit of a reimbursement. I didn't take the person to court. You know, so I wound up getting like this little check from something I didn't know about 
you know, it was enough to go get lunch or something. So, a little something from the past that you might have forgot about might come back to you. Yep. 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 Nothing big. Nothing. Hey, you know, anything helps nowadays, right? You know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to do another set. And I didn't start my clock. Trying not to go too long. 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Because I don't want to bore you, even though there's a lot more information that I could bring to you. I see how long people stay in the videos, and you know, I like making the longer videos. That's just the way it goes. You know, it's not, you know, some goal of mine to make long videos. I can go a lot longer in readings, trust me. But uh, I see how many minutes people stay in the videos and the average. So, viewer duration, I think they call it. So if I make 20, 25 minute videos and people just stay seven, eight minutes, well, you know, that's not too good. So, I guess the people who leave early don't like what I'm saying. So like I say, you know, you can take it or you go. You don't have to accept it. But I have people who've taken my word for 40-ish years now and still come around and these people have done, I'd say, fairly well in their lives over these years, those decades. But anyway, readings are never guaranteed. If you find a psychic who guarantees their reading to you, well, I'll, I'd be looking for a different psychic, all right? Items, items, crystals, you need crystals, you know, there has to be some price on that, of course. You know, shipping and stuff, but, you know, need my uh, signed pictures, I got signed pictures, and send a self-addressed stamp envelope with a donation of your choice, and uh, I'll get a signed picture off to you. I got them over here somewhere. I got some over here. There you go. My uh, marketing, huh? My psychedelic black picture, I call it. I was doing a, a thing, a thing, somewhere down in Mexico uh, a few years ago. Notice the thickness of those walls. But that is in a Mayan temple. And, and then I got my red one. Red. But, um, yeah, let me say uh, these, if you need a price, let's put $5 on it. Okay? I'm done. So, you know, I'll sign it. I'll say my little howdy do to you. And I bless each one, so you get a little bit of blessings, too. I gotta sign these. That's why they're there. Anyway, I'm getting another set of cards here. And this looks like it has fallen into the financial area, and that's cool, too. Um, man, it looks like it's a good month for you to make uh, that extra cash. This is money, cash. So, and... Um, Married men, uh, 25 to 40 ish. Um, it looks like it's going to be an exceptionally good month for you financially. Um, and in Lady Capricorn ladies, it looks like. No, you know, I'm just saying, you know, Capricorn ladies, I see the increase. I see a financial increase coming to you because of your partner. Um, it doesn't matter if your partner is a Capricorn or not. I get a lot of people who aren't in that zodiac, you know, that zodiac sign that I'm reading for, but they might know somebody in that zodiac sign. And if your man, your partner, not necessarily man, you know, we deal with you know same-sex relationships here, and if you can't handle that, well, then uh, be one of those people who clicks out of the videos early. But uh, anyway, um, it looks like you're going to be benefiting from your partner's financial increase if they are a Capricorn. Alright? 
So that's cool, you know. So you don't have to be a Capricorn to get that financial increase because I say that because I'm getting a unit, family unit. So yeah, and then you don't have to be the same sex, you know, for this because I'm I'm also picking up children, children, child. Um, if you have at least one child, uh, you also fall into that category. Uh, married or not married, you know. I'll um, just say my definition of married is uh, spiritually or legally, spiritually, you know, you know, be one of those people who say you don't need no darn piece of paper to tell you, you know, that you're with somebody for life. You know, I do some, you know, pagan weddings out there, you know, I'm a pagan priest, and, uh, you know, it's not until death do you part. Uh, most of the time it's for as long as you shall love, you know, so. And that makes their bond, you know, within a lifetime and and beyond. So, uh, ladies, it looks like uh, you will receive, you know, I was gonna pick up the cards, but we still have a couple messages here. Ladies, it looks like you're gonna be receiving some news that you definitely don't know about right now. Um, this news is somewhat important to you. Uh, it looks like this will be from roughly the beginning to mid-September. The news does concern a male. So, it's not, you know, anything too negative. I say not too negative because some of you might be waiting to see if this male is going to, you know, accept your friendliness towards him. And for some of you, it's not going to happen. But... That's unfortunate. But anyway, we'll be doing the love readings. We'll be getting into the love readings within the next day or so. No, no, let's not say the next day because uh, if you're watching this today, um, I'm recording this day that I'm releasing it. What is it? I'm recording this the 15th of August. Uh, I'm still going to have the morning rush readings I'll continue Monday through Friday. But I got a little special video that I'm going to have to be doing. So we might not have a love reading tomorrow because today ends the Zodiac general readings. So anyway, chit chat. Anyway, uh, ladies, a uh, little bit of uh, negative news for you. Nothing life threatening. Um, you know, just yeah. Like I said, we're going to be doing love readings coming up, just within days, maybe two days. But uh, um, anyway. Uh, guy who isn't ready for a relationship right now doesn't mean that you're losing this guy if you're that hooked on him, okay? Doesn't mean you're losing him, you just, this isn't time for him, okay? That's, that's that, okay? It's not the end of the world. Just, you waited, you know, a certain amount of time. You waited so long, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Bingo. Okay, um, that looks good here. That's about it on that spread. Spread of cards is how I lay out the cards. So, anyway. Should we do another cookie? Cookies are good sometimes, aren't they? Mm. Um, I've, hey, I've felt a lot of you doing magic out there and uh, be cautious about where you get these spells from, okay? Um, I felt some of your spells go a little funny, okay? So, uh, I've, like I said, if I felt you, your work, your activities, and I felt like they weren't exactly the way you're wanting, it could be the way you want, but, you know, if I felt negativity coming your way, I put up little blocks. I've contacted you by email. You guys have done that. So just be careful where you get your spells from, your wishes, your dreams, okay? You know, if you get them on the Internet, make sure you know who you're getting them from. Because I've seen a lot of things go wrong with people doing those spells. Remember, uh... Maybe I should do a separate video on it. But I'll tell you now. You know, remember that just by reading 
the spell, if it's just a verbal spell, just by reading the spell, you're performing it. You know, a lot of people don't know that, understand that. You know, well, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. The spell is done. So, and it might not be what you're looking for, so be careful. Just be careful where you get your information. Okay, let's do the quickie. Oh, I felt uh, before I started the reading, you know, I, you know, I get myself ready for it, and I felt some of you were thinking about getting a pet in September. September looks like it's a good month for you to get a pet. Northern Hemisphere, be ready because that pet will be inside for a lot of several months to come because you're running into winter. Okay, okay. Uh, roughly, uh, September could be a little stressful for you, whether you're at work or at home. Um, a little more stressful on guys. Uh, so, Lady Capricorns, looks like you're going to be spared some added stress, added stress for September, but it still looks like there's going to be some stress on you. Um, be careful of somebody doing something behind your back. That's goes across the board, guys and girls. Anyway, isn't that glorious, Capricorn? So, what else we got here? Um, save for store your nuts. Winter's coming, okay? The dark months are right around the corner. They're going to be here before you know it. So, um, start saving. You know, if you're an outside worker, you know, landscaping or something like that. And, uh, you know, be careful because you're going to start having interruptions in your work. You know that. You know that, so uh, you better start saving if that's the case. And if you're under contract work, um, there could be a little delay in getting some more work. So, yes, uh, um, try to save some money. And don't be too, you know... Uh, Make sure you have that emergency uh, food storage just in case. And that's for everybody out there. Always have a little extra on hand in the back somewhere. Um, you know, non-perishable things. Or, you know, I know a lot of people uh, several years ago put some foods away because of situations in the world. And you're going to see that a lot of those foods are out of date. So, uh rotate that stock if you can okay alrighty so anyway I think we better stop this because uh, we're running long again this is what happens chit chat and such but anyway please thumbs up the video that means like the video share the video where you can you can you see that little share button down below just click that and you know Facebook and Twitters and all that stuff comes up and uh, share the video. Um, leave comments, of course. And remember, you can subscribe by clicking that button down there. You know, those of you who haven't subscribed yet, you know, click that button that has a picture of me on it. And uh, also, you know, you can click right there. Click here to subscribe. And I was going to tell you something else. I don't know. I don't remember. But sometimes after readings, my mind goes so far out there that I just get blank afterwards. That's what happens. I get to uh, take a few minutes after a reading and get things together. But anyway, if I remember, I'll do an update or something. But anyway, adios. Adios, Reba Dirty. Sayonara. Ciao. Reading is done. Bye.